Hello and welcome to the second Tuesday of Lent. Hope your Lent is going well. Let us begin as we should begin all things. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seats on the chair of Moses. Therefore do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their paracletes and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honors at synagogues, greetings in the marketplace, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father, but you have but one Father in heaven. Do not be called Master. You have but one Master, the Christ. The greatest among you will be your servant. Whoever exalts him will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When um, our oldest daughter was young, she was about two or three years old, we were driving from Gallup, New Mexico, up to here in Denver to see my wife's family. And she was sitting in the back of the car, 1978 Impala, and we were sitting in the front, and we were listening to the radio, and we were listening to a talk show. I don't even remember what was going on in the talk show. It wasn't anything horrible. It was the news, things like that. And all of a sudden, she started repeating what she heard. And it hit me at that point in time that our daughter was watching everything we do and mimicking everything that we do. And it didn't matter. It doesn't necessarily matter what I say to her. What matters more is what she sees me do as an example. That is our essence of our reading today in the gospel is not only should we believe what we believe, not only should we teach what we believe, but we should live what we believe. Now, none of us are going to be perfect in doing that, but we need to be conscious that it's not just about us going in and, and on Sunday and going to church and then living a whole different life, but that our life needs to be melded together. Our church needs to be melded together with our life our behaviors need to be melded together with our beliefs. And those that there needs to be that unity as best we can do it within that. So the question I ask you today is, is there that unity in your life? Is there unity between what you believe and how you act and how you behave? Is there that unity there? And what I'd argue is for many of us, at least myself, there's areas that there is that good unity there, but there's areas in my life that there isn't. And so the challenge that I give you is this. Think about your life today. And what are those things that you, we believe, you believe? What are those things that are the truth that your behavior does not align with? And when you find that gap there, that's the gap of something that I can work on, and that gap that you find that you can work on to help us make sure that there's this alignment so that we're doing what we say and what we believe. Have it a blessed day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.